Good afternoon. I love cabbage rolls. Uh, they're one of my favorite winter meals, but uh, they're a little fussy to make. You have to roll them and you have to steam the cabbage. And so I have like an easy cheat way, which I guess you could call it a cabbage roll casserole. It tastes exactly the same. It's just kind of deconstructed. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Before I begin, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at The Hobby Bird. I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so for my cabbage roll casserole, I have uh, 800 uh, grams of lean ground beef. I have a Chinese garlic. This would be equivalent to about two to three cloves of garlic. Uh, I have a cabbage, one cup of uh, long grain white rice, I have four cups of passata, and I have one cup of water, and I'll need salt and pepper. Let's start with this cabbage. We're gonna start by, we're just gonna peel off these outer leaves here. Let's remove the core. And we're not gonna slice these up in really small pieces. They're gonna break down quite a bit with the cooking. So we're just going to have the quarters like this. Do the same to the other half. Okay, so now we're gonna make these like meatballs that go, that are supposed to go inside the cabbage. To the ground beef, we're going to add the garlic. So I've just taken the, the skin off and we're going to just... We're going to season with salt and pepper. We're gonna add the rice. Okay. Now we're gonna get the, in there with our hands and mix everything together. So now we're gonna make these meatballs. So we're just gonna take So now for assembly, we're going to just put a little bit of liquid in the bottom, so we're going to use this passata just to wet the bottom of the... And we're going to put down a layer of these porcupine meatballs, I guess you would call them. And then we're going to do a layer of cabbage.
Add a little salt, a little more pepper. I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar. You don't need any more than this because the cabbage will sweeten it also. It's just to kind of take out that acidity from the tomato. That. And we're going to pour this cup of water over. And we're going to put a lid on it and we're going to cook it on a medium heat for about an hour. You can serve this with potatoes. We prefer to have it with just some freshly baked white bread. Hope you like my recipe. Thanks for watching.